All right, everybody, welcome into the stream. Maricopa Community College's Esports League, Rocket League tonight. The grand finale of our preseason between Chandler Gilbert Community College and Glendale Community College. Uh, tonight in the blue, we're going to have Chandler Gilbert. Team's going to be their captain, Louie. And uh, their other two players are going to be Wes and Poji. And in the orange, we've got uh, Glendale, team captain Cone. Two other players, Fear Remix and Lynn. Right into game number one here on Manfield Night. Grand Finals. Whole preseason leads up to this. We've got a rematch of the regular season spring finals from last season. We'll see who's got it in the bag this fall. Kickoff going to go in favor of Chenley Gilbert. Poji with an early attack. Off the back wall, Lynn Reeds. Plenty of boost to follow this one up. Put some pressure onto Wes. Glendale definitely going to need to get that early pressure going. And the Gilbert, a team that likes to start quick just like that. Poji already getting physical with the bumps. Going plenty of boost. Catches it on the sidewall. For a double touch in the mid, Louis hits it off the ceiling. Gets a bump. See if Wes can find the net, he shoots. A little whiff. Don't get him plenty of boost. Carry this one upfield. Into Chandler Gilbert territory. Lynn's going to follow it up for him. Pop this now. Mid Louis misses the ceiling challenge. Wes there to clean it up. Quick start for both teams. They both have an offensive opportunity. No goals by yet. We're coming up on a minute in here soon. A little bit of pressure here by Glendale. Very just going to tap this one. Wes going to hit it up to the back wall. Player's gonna miss. West gonna take a shot. It gets behind and it's in. Gold number one in favor of Chandler Gilbert. I believe that was kind of faked. Poji was up there on the back wall looking to pass it and it winds up missing and Glendale player's not able to read it. It's gonna fall right into West's hand. He's gonna slot that one right in for goal number one in our grand final. Another kickoff won by Chandler Gilbert. Straight back onto the attack. Relentless attack is what has definitely got Chandler Gilbert here to the Grand Finals here in the preseason. Just going to leave that one. Poji's going to take a long shot, but Cone's going to be able to get back to him make a goal line save. Ruby looking mid, but it's going to be cleared by Fear. I'm going to follow this one up. Low boost, see what we can do with it. Cone going to take it off him. Poji able to keep this ball into the Lindell half. Poji's looking for a slow, methodical play in the corner there. Doesn't quite get the perfect 50, and now it's in his half, and he's got to shoot back and play some defense. Poji not even able to get it past anybody. This one might fall in. Poji does get the epic save that they needed. So he's going to have to jump for this one to cut off here. Waste a lot of boost in that. It's going to be off to the corner now. Or Wes will get it past the first man. Here's up quickly for it. Then just slightly misplays that. Louis gonna have plenty of time on this ball, plenty of possession. Phone 50s into the sidewall, but Poji's there to shut that play down immediately. Blendo with a decent bit of pressure here. Handler definitely struggling to get out of their half. Is West gonna do just that, carrying it over one, then onto the back wall? Smartly clears this one away over to his teammate Cone. Cone looking mid to get it back to him, but it's gonna find its way into the hands of Fear. And boom this one in. Plenty of boost to follow it up. A little too high to reach. Lynn has a shot though. He's gonna put it back for it. Now Cone's got a shot. Weak shot, but it might still find its way in. It's on the goal line. Panic save. West gets it out of there. One goes over Poji's head, but three makes a goal line save. Saw fear creeping up there. Definitely would have had an open shot if Louis wasn't there to clear that ball away. They're gonna get a demo and Louis gonna have to make a backflip on this ball and race back. Uh, Lynn runs out of boost on the way up. Cone, keeping the play alive, but not enough boost to follow it up. But no, gotta watch that double commit. It's gonna leave the net wide open for Poji. Goal number two, also going to Chandler Gilbert. This is just a slight misplay by Glenda. You see Fear jumps there. Realizes too late that Lynn is also up with him. But no, definitely needs to regain here. Down 2 0. Plenty of time. Minute 41 to go here in game one. Long series, of course, we've got seven games, if they are all necessary. Poji looks to center, and he does find a good demo on his way out. Actually lands on Fear as well. Going to slow down the counterattack of Blendo, but Cone might be able to put it in anyways. 
Awkward bounce, Lynn not able to read it, and now Wes is gonna look for Louis into the midfield. Low boost here for Louis. Good 50 out to his teammate, Wes. Now Poji gonna jump at this one, take a shot, it's gonna go high off the backboard. Good read by Cohn to clear that one out to the midfield. Not gonna be in from Wes, that's gonna find the right post. Poji did wind up diving at it, Fear makes a save. He's gonna carry it down the field. Louis does a good job to cut it off. He's gonna take his time here. Take a 50 with Cone. And he opts to catch this ball and control it and restart the offense for Chandler Go. But he gets two to jump. Baits him in. This one's gonna be off the back wall. Cone has to make a desperation clear, but it leaves the net wide open again for Poji with his second goal tonight. See Louis there, definitely playing a key factor in this offense early on here in game one. No goals for him yet, but definitely getting a playmaker. He's got an assist, getting some of these demos, getting really physical there in the box. And a hat trick of goals out of Chandler Gilbert here in game one. Strong statement. 30 seconds now. But no needs a miracle to take game one, but at the very least, let's see if they can get an exit goal here and take some momentum here in game two. Gonna find his way over the opposite side of the field. Poji gonna pass it up to Louis. He's gonna pass it back to Poji. It goes wide left. 10 seconds now. Game one gonna fall into the hands of Chandler Gilbert. Appears to be in shutout fashion as well. Cone gonna look to take this one all the way down the field in the air, and it's gonna touch the ground. Game one goes to Chandler Gilbert. Poji gonna lead his team with an MVP performance in game one. Probably more of the same that we've seen from Chandler Gilbert all season long, all preseason long. Definitely that relentless defense and just the, the counter attacks that come from playing such good defense. Give up zero goals and plenty of boost on those counter attacks. Glendale look to regroup here in between games as we head on over to Forbidden Temple. Game number two. And we've got a countdown. Second game of our grand finals. Kickoff's going to go in favor of Chandler Gilbert once again. Poaching have a free ball at the sidewall here with plenty of boost. Here up early though. That's a great job cutting these off. Cutting these Chandler Gilbert attacks early is definitely a smart game plan as it's already almost led to a goal. It is going to find its way. Definitely what we needed to see out of Glendale quick there. They jump off, cut off that Coyotes offense really quick before it can even get the play started. Don't let them enter their half and a goal on the counterattack. Long shot comes out of it. Great job by Glendale. <laughs> Another kickoff in favor of Chandler Gilbert. Cone's actually getting a shot off it though, but Louis makes the epic save on the goal line. <clears throat> he has a shot opportunity, does kind of whiff on it. Missed opportunity there for Louis, definitely wants that one back. Could have had a tie game really quickly. But Louis is going to get one of those exit demos that he loves, that physicality out of Chandler Gilbert that we've seen all season long, especially from Louis himself. He almost had a shot opportunity, but Louis with a, another great early cutoff kills the play before it can even get started. Now a minute into game two, Glendale with the lead in this one. And Lingo were threatening that equalizing goal as we speak. And gonna carry it down the opposite end of the field and gets it over once, gonna hit off the backboard awkwardly, but Louis gets a boom down the other end of the field. Here looks to keep it in. Louis gonna have plenty of time on this ball and plenty of boost as well. Great job again by Glendale. That's more of what we need to see. Those quick cutoffs. Don't even let Chandler Gilbert get out of their own half. Little double commit there, Adam. Chandler Gilbert, not something you want to see. Oh, not able to read that ball. Does miss shot fears. Gonna put it on that. Louis gets the epic save. Chandler Gilbert needs to relax here. 
Couple of goal line saves here. Good job by Pody to clear that one out. Buy his teammates some time to get some boost. Now West gonna have an opportunity to attack the net. But Lin's gonna carry that one to the corner and beyond. Now Fear gonna take a shot. Louie gonna be forced to backflip on this and take that demo. Lin puts a shot on target and Cone's gonna finish it. Lendo comes into game two hungry. They must have seen what they were missing in game one. And they have come right back. Game number two. Coming up on the halfway mark here soon at 2 minutes and 30 seconds and honestly the Chandler Gilbert offense hasn't really gotten a chance to get going here. I think West had one attempt to attack the net as this one's going down the field for Glendale West. That, that was a good play by Lynn though. West would have had a free ball to catch and Lynn just makes it a little more awkward for him. But as I was saying, Chandler Gilbert offense this game so far has been struggling. They cannot seem to get their own half and this might be another goal. Another beautiful save from Louis. West takes a long shot. Needs to find his way in, as we have now hit the halfway point. And they go where we need a goal quick. Louis going to take a shot and look for that goal. Pinch for the save out of Lynn and Fear. Ball Pody going to pass it out mid. Lynn's going to take over. Find out missing the ball does force Louis to waste a lot of his boost though. Fear gets it over the second man. Good job by Louis. This one's going to be. 50 in with Lynn, but Louie does a good job keeping the half. See if he can get a mid for one of his teammates. Forces a double commit. Good job by Cone there to find a demo to even out the advantage a little bit. West can be forced to be the last one back here. Awkward situation for Poji. He has to jump. Fake. Poji gets a pass one. Can't pop it over saying this one's going to find its way in. A team ace of goals for Glendale here in game two. They come right back with a 3-0 lead of their own. All three players contributing with a goal to their name. Been doing an especially great job. Two assists. He's either scored or helped score all three goals in this game. Definitely what we need to see. Definitely what we needed to see out of Glendale here in game two. Whatever they noticed from game one has certainly worked. 3-0 lead. Mark. Coming up on about a minute to go. Chandler needs to get their offense going and soon. They need a goal here. I think right around the minute mark to give themselves a chance. Or Leno could definitely just play some lockdown defense here. That's a great shot, but it's not going to be quick enough. Lynn's going to beat it. He's going to find his way out to Poji. He's going to have plenty of boost. He's going to be able to follow up his own pass. West going to do it for him, though. This might roll its way in. It is. So the misplay by Chandler Gilbert turns out to be a fake. Lynn not able to read the chaos in the Glendale box and Louis just gonna smash that one in. West gets assist credit. And that's what they def they definitely needed that. Ten only 10 seconds into the final minute and they've got their first one. They just need two more. But right off the kickoff, Glendale threatening. They want that three goal lead back. Job by Fear to keep that one into the Chandler Gilbert half. Poji takes another long shot. But once again, I think they have just waited too long, and Chandler Gilbert's goal might be too little too late as Glendale's starting to lock down on defense. But definitely a good thing to see out of Glendale is they're not, not turtling up, because turtling up on defense can actually be worse than kind of sticking to the game plan you had all game, because it seems to be working so far. They're looking hungry for even more goals in this game and we've come down to the final five seconds now looks like Chandler's only going to be able to get one and we're going to have an equalized series at one to one Lendo still threatening that fourth goal though it's going to drop so it finds the ball finds the ground here in game number two and the series is equalized that's exactly what we needed to see out of Glendale Figured out what they did wrong in game one, solved the problem quickly, had a bounce back game, series is equal.
I do have the privilege of sitting in the same room that the game is taking place. So I'm kind of hearing some of the, the talks between players in between games here, trying to figure out what's going wrong. And they're coming to the assumption that they need to be talking a little bit more, minimize those double commits, minim minimize those panicking situations on defense. See what they can do in game number three. It is very early in the series, but I would say this is a pretty critical game. Taking that 2-1 lead could be huge. But obviously in a best of seven, every single game is huge. Some just feel like they mean a little more than others. That series lead is so important. And for Chandler to give it away almost right after they took it, just kind of feels, got, it's gotta be heartbreaking those comms. You know, you start with such a good game one, you get that 3-0 shutout. And then you get a 3-0 almost onto yourself and you did, they did get out with one so that's good good for the momentum they were the last team to score in that game but that's another awkward situation Co not able to capitalize on it don't think he was quite expecting that find a demo on the outside though get back to one for some pawn demos now Chandler's got to be careful once those once that last man gets demoed nobody is there nobody's ready behind you Poji in that situation right now. I'm gonna be the last man back. Does a great job to stay composed though. Controls that ball, gets a 50, and he's gonna have plenty of boost to pass this one out to the midfield for Louis. Not the best first touch out of Louis. I'm sure that's not what he wanted. He'll want another go with that. But Poji does a good job to get up onto Cone and bump him a little bit. This one's going towards the net. It's gonna be off the backboard. Fear's gonna shoot it. It's gonna find the net. A repeat of game number two. Glendo with a quick start. First goal of the night. First goal of game three. Looking to see a little bit more spacing out of Chandler Gilbert. Again, it is tough with those demos out of Cone and Fear. They really like to play physical, but they do need to space out a little bit more. It seems like they're getting crowded in one corner on defense. In game one, that is the exact opposite of what we saw. They were playing flawless defense, didn't give up a single goal. And now back-to-back -back games, they've given up one in the first minute. Because they got to be careful here. Louis again, the last man back. He's got to play patient. He carry this one up the wall. He's going to be forced to get another touch. Does a good job. Gets it around the second man. Cone has to cut it off as the last man. Poji gets it into the Glendale side. Chandler needs to be the next team to score here. They got to tie this game up. Can't let Glendale get another multiple goal lead because they lock down on defense and they just stay hungry and get those demos and it seems like an impossible trap to get out of. OG just misses wide right. Louis not able to put it in and goes wide left. Both teams threatening on offense right now. Both teams look very scary. It's just who's gonna, who's gonna be the better team. We do have both teams in the lab. Not quite a stage setting or a fan setting. No crowd here watching. But again, a very different experience playing across from your opponents and in an unfamiliar environment compared to playing at your setup comfortable at home. Gotta be some nerves. He's gonna tap this one to himself. It's a fake, but Lynn reads it and manages to get a dunk that's gonna pop this ball out to the Chandler Gilbert box if you're up for it. Cone gonna have to race back and makes a good catch on that ball. Good control out of Cone. He might have an offensive play on it now. It's gonna miss. Lynn, unlucky shot. Oh, he's gonna follow it up. Now Cone's gonna have a shot. He's gonna hit it to the corner. Thinks better of that shot. Not a great angle. Might have given the ball away. Job, he keeps pressure up by hitting that ball to the corner and letting his teammates regroup. A good opportunity for Louis. He's got one man to beat off the sidewall and doesn't get the first touch he wanted. Gets the pinch and it's gonna find its way in. What a goal from Louis. Good job. Recognizes that he has some space. Takes this one to the air. Fear the last man back awkwardly on the wall. Louis pinches it just around him. Very able to get a hand up, but it's just out of his reach. That's that equalizing goal that Chandler Gilbert definitely needed. Did not want to go into another 2 0 hole. And they're threatening instantly off the kickoff. Good demo from Louis. Boji has a net to shoot at, but he misses wide left. Coming up on the final minute here in game three. Series knotted up at one. Game knotted up at one. Boji takes a weak shot on the net and 
Cone's just gonna send that one back down to the blue corner. He's gonna miss wide right, gets a little pinch off of Wes's car. Cone finds that signature demo on the way out. Good passing play there. Then not able to get a powerful shot on target. It's gonna be, allow Louie. 50 fear and that one's gonna find its way out. But Lynn does a good job to keep it in. We might be seeing overtime. Here in game number three, 30 seconds to go for a team to take the lead. Here can clear this one to the side while Poji gets up to it. It's gonna be awkwardly out the back while Lynn's gonna miss it. Poji looks for the double and it goes wide left. Some intense offense here in the final minute. Both teams scrapping, going for double touches, going for demos, trying to find that tie breaking goal. Poji takes a shot, it's gonna go wide right. Louis jumps at that ball, and it'll have to be done in the air if a team wants to win it. OG keeps it up into the corner. Cone pops it up. Hasn't found the ground yet. OG takes a shot. Louis going to have a shot opportunity. Hits it mid, and it's going to find the floor. Threatening, threatening offense there in the final 10 seconds and into the zero-second opportunity out of Chandler Gilbert. We'll see if they can keep it up in overtime and take this. Cone's going to go high for Lynn. Missed opportunity. Louis gets epic save credit for it, but I do believe it was hitting the crossbar. Job by Poji finding demos. Look at first teammates mid now is Wes. Cone clears it out. Lynn gonna look up. Poji clears it back down. Here to last man. Poji gonna take shot. It's gonna pinch all the way down. It's gonna be wide right. And look over needs to be careful. If that was in, there was nobody home to save it. But this one's going mid awkwardly. Double come in out of Chandler. Cone not able to put a shot on target. Louis gonna have plenty of time in the corner now. Not very much boost. Wes gonna be forced to make a tough read here. Lynn's gonna have a shot, takes it, and it's gonna find its way in. 50 seconds into overtime, a heartbreaking loss for Chandler. They had so much offense. They were able to equalize late in the game, so much offense into that last minute, and it all goes to waste. 2-1 lead in the series for Glendale. We take map number three. So far, we've had some great games. Games one and two equal, basically mirror images of each other. One great game for each team in game one and game two, and game three, just an absolute nail biter. One goal game goes to overtime. Still able to get a scrappy demo and take out the game win. Now, this is an even bigger game in the series for both teams. Glendale wins this one. They take a 3-1 lead and put themselves on match point. And Chandler Gilbert absolutely needs this game. They do not want to go to match point with only one game win under their belt. They need to tie this series up at two. This is going to float awkwardly in front of the Glendale net. Louis pushes it mid. Good read by Cone, though. Glendale, a little tripped up in their corner here. Cone manages to rotate out past the back post. This one's going to go over Wes's head. To be threatening early. Not able to score. Good job by the Glendale defense there to read that waterfall. Cody goes for another one of those musty flicks. It's going to find its way into the hands of Louis. Hit that waterfall again. West looking to keep possession. Tosses it back to, to Poji. Going to go out mid. Cone and Lin. Cone and Louis going to 50. And it's going to find its way into the net. Poji. Game four lead. Just what Glendale need, or just what Chandler Gilbert needed. Louis gets a perfect 50 over to Poji and right down the middle. A huge bounce back after taking that tough loss in game three. Keeping that momentum that they had and just let slip away last game. They do not want to let that go again. A crucial game as this one goes all the way down the field, but comes back just in time. Actually, going to create some offense just on his own. And Louis looking to do the same now, gets a pass too. But he does get bumped off the ball, so he's not going to be able to score it. 
Going to the great bump as well. One's gonna, one's gonna be able to find this one out mid. Sure, 50 Apogee. Louis and Lin gonna race to this ball in the back wall. West, the last man back, gonna have to control this with cone threatening. Beat to the ball. Are we gonna tap this one back into the Glendale half? Sailing over to Glendale net into the opposite corner. For Cone to put it past Boji. One man back. Cone takes the shot. Louis forced a backflip on it. Shot for Lynn and he's gonna put it in. Great job by Cone there. Gets assist credit. Puts a weak shot on the net. Forces Louis into a bad save. And Lynn is there to finish it. 66 miles an hour right down the middle. Once again, we are in a 1-1 game. Back to back. Close series that we knew it would be. Both these teams very equal throughout the entire season. Chandler Gilbert does have the tiebreaker. In their regular season series, Chandler Gilbert did take it. Got by West there, looking mid. No teammates home though. Fifty is equal between Lynn and West. Louis gonna pop this one in the mid. Cone awkward on the back wall manages to get a great clear. West keeps that one in. Here with plenty of time and plenty of boost in his corner gets it around one. Lynn gets it around the second. West cuts it. Good job by West to play patient there. Gotta watch that double commit. Is just finding some demos. West finds a demo. Finally go on the power play for a few seconds here. Cone is there to cut it off. Once again, looking for some solo offense. Louis gets tripped up there and here is able to get a good 50-50 on. West gonna push this one in the half. Force to tap it down. First touch out of fear, he's gonna have an opportunity to get this one to the center, but Louis cuts it off. This one's floating down in front of the Chandler Gilbert net. A little double commit for Louis and Poji, they gotta be careful of that. Gotta get these comms flowing. You're in a 1-1 game here in the Grand Finals. Gotta stay composed. Gotta trust each other. West clears this one to the right wall where Poji will fly for it. Get it off the ceiling. Drop by Fear to clear that one on the side one. He might even find a second touch. So we looking for a dunk off the ceiling. Cone's just gonna boom that one down to the other end of the other end of the field. Then looking for a bump. Fear with a shot opportunity. It's gonna go wide right. If he misses though, it's gonna be a shot for Cone now. Great job by Poji to pick up his teammate and get a good 50 there. They're gonna win the race to the ball on the sidewall and he might have a shot off of this. He just misses it, he just barely ran out of boost there. Lynn's gonna find the net. From out of nowhere, Lynn comes soaring in through the sky and puts it in the top bin of the net just under the bar. Actually hits the bar on its way in. 2-1 lead for Glendale, 10 seconds into the final minute. Once again, Chandler Gilbert running out of time. This would be them going down 3-1 in the series. The exact opposite of what they needed out of this game. Cone threatening a two goal lead. Chandler needs to find their way out of this. They need a goal here in the last 30 seconds. Opportunity for some offense now. Cone clears it high. We're seeing that lockdown offense from lockdown defense from Glendale right now. They got 20 seconds to survive to put themselves on match point, but they are hungry for another goal. Ten seconds to go. And they go for it. West brings it into the other half. OG up for it. it takes the shot's gonna go high. And it's gonna hit the ground. 3-1 lead. 3-1, Utopia Coliseum's taken by Glendale. They put themselves on to match point. Chandler Gilbert now going to have to win three games in a row. They want this series to go their way.
This has been a great series by Glendale so far. 3-1 lead. All close games. They lose game one. And they have come back to win three in a row after that loss. I think Cone is definitely having a standout performance. He's leading this team right now. There's not a situation that it looks like he can't handle. Seems to always be back for his team as he is on the way right now. But he just doesn't quite get back in time to save that shot from Louie. Beautiful job by Poji to get that one all the way down the field. Finds its way mid off that corner. And Louie's there. Wins the race to the ball and gets the goal. Just what Chandler Gilbert needed. They do score first. That's what they needed. They did score first last game and they weren't able to hold it. But they definitely need to figure out what went wrong. They had a minute to think about it and talk about it. What, ran, what went wrong last game? They had a lead. It disappeared. They wound up losing. And they figure it out with their preseason life on the line. Demos from Fear and Lynn are going to give Louie nobody to pass to. Wes is going to spawn in, take this one all the way downfield. Great job by Fear to clear that one. Now Poji's turn in the air. Looking for a flip reset. Louie gets, Lynn gets the squishy save. Wes was looking for a demo there at the midfield, not able to find it. Louie going to throw it on the net. Cohen with another save. He is being that team leader that Glendale needed him to be in this series. He is stepping up and playing extremely well. Awkward situation for Chandler Gilbert, and it's going to be saved by Wes. Gets the epic save credit. Good top left shot out of Lynn. But Wes is the better. Opportunity on the counterattack now for Louie. It over one, looking for the double, needs this, it'd be huge, and he misses wide right. Definitely a missed opportunity for Louis. He will want that one back. But Wes gets it. 2-0 lead, multiple goal lead for Chandler, just what the doctor ordered for them. They need that one goal buffer. They got a long road. They gotta win three games in a row here to bring this one back home. Personally, I hope they do it because I'd love to see seven games tonight. But Glendale has looked extremely, extremely tough for them to beat in these past three games. But obviously, after a 3-0 shutdown game one, we know it is possible. And Chandler Gilbert, if anybody can bring it back, it's definitely Chandler Gilbert. West can have another shot opportunity. Job by Lynn to get out in front of that one. The bump by West is going to open the net for Louie. Beautiful job by Chandler so far this game. And just like a repeat of game one, they've jumped out to a 3-0 lead pretty quickly before halfway through the game. Great job by West there. Finds a little bump, opens up some space for his captain, and he does the rest. Lynn going to have plenty of time and plenty of boost on this ball. Poji jumps early. Great job by him. So we forcing the issue. This one's going to go all the way out mid. Poji's going to jump for it. Little double commit out of Poji and West, but no harm comes from it. And like we're getting real physical. I wonder if maybe that's what they agreed on that they were missing. Because they were extremely physical in game one. And the physicality from Glendale played a part in back to back to back wins. And they are playing a little faster. You see West there, no hesitation, jumping on jumping on those balls. Before the Glendale offense can even get started, they are just challenging, jumping, throwing it up. And this one's going to find the net. That's what Glendale needed. So the pace finally catches up with Chandler. They run out of boost. Here gets a perfect touch to mid. Lynn beats West to the ball. And it's just a little too quick for Chandler. But like I said, that multiple goal lead is extremely important for them. They are going to make mistakes. They are not perfect. They needed that three goal buffer. 3 1 now. Give me another shot opportunity. A little double coming out of Lynn and Cone. Are you going to be able to clear this one downfield with the help of Cone? Good job by Fear to catch that ball. He's going to pick up the big pad as well. Now West going to be forced to catch this one on his goal line. Going to go up to the ceiling. Sit around Cone. He made Poji's there to take it around the second man. One man to beat now for Chandler Gilbert. 
Your remix plays some extremely good backboard defense, though. Well read by him. So he cuts it off at the midfield. Cone jumps. Here, not able to get it mid. West gonna have to clear that one. Lynn keeps it in. This one's gonna find its way into the net. Poji makes a save. Good control from West. Does get 50 -ed. Last man back is Louie now. He's gonna shoot himself up to the backboard, jump the ceiling, and he's got plenty of space to work with right here, but absolutely no boost in the tank. Gonna steal that Glendo corner boost. OG had a shot opportunity, but a great read from Cone. Hits that ball out of the midair. An open net for Cone to shoot at now. Beautiful save. Poji gets the epic save credit. A little bit of panic in front of the net here for Chandler Gilbert. They gotta regroup and stay composed. They made a beautiful goal line save. Gotta keep it together. 30 seconds now to survive. Two goal buffer. They compose on defense, don't overcommit, but also don't turtle up. That's a great challenge from Poji. You might be able to get a goal off this. Cone makes a desperation save and they need a goal quickly. Got by West to keep this one in. This is what they gotta do for this final 10 seconds. Challenge quick, keep Glendale off the ball. No chances. Poji should take this one all the way around. Great job by him and that wastes all the time on our clock. Glendale could score and this game is still over. We are gonna have game number six. We're heading to Neo Tokyo. Chandler Gilbert starting the road to forcing a game seven. They need one more and we will have some champions field. Now Glendale's gotta talk amongst themselves. Just like game one, what went wrong? Early 3-0 lead for Chandler Gilbert. Definitely wasn't as much physicality out of Glendale as we'd seen on those three straight wins. Gotta pull it back together. Here the series here, you do not wanna play. Actually, either of these teams, neither of them wanna play a game seven. That's a toss up. Both these teams are so tight right now. Game seven could go either way. Glendale looking to end it in six. Chandler Gilbert needs to force this game seven. OG looking to do it early, but it goes wide right. Turn on this ball, though. Forces here to send it downfield. So we able to get it over to Cone, the last man. He's going to jump for it, gets 50. Poji going to have an open, then he misses wide left. Still want that one back. He definitely could have taken his time. Definitely the nerves of being on match point. We're going to pass this one back to him. Goes under Lynn. Awkward ball to read for Glendale on the backboard, but Fear does a good job to do that. Gonna go wide left. Louis looking for the doomsday dish. Doesn't quite find it. He's got to play a good first touch. He's gonna carry it over to Dave from Cone. Playing that heavy defensive role that they needed out of him. West gonna drop this one in the mid. That's a beautiful pass. Here does a good job and cut it off and gets it to Cone. Team's going back and forth right now. Both of them with a little bit of passing, a little bit of offense. So we getting some fakes and some 50s in the corner. West gonna dump this one mid. Then able to clear it. These teams are neck and neck right now. Counterattack opportunity for Glendale. West does a good job to shut that down before it even gets started. He gets in mid, to be over Louis' head though. Wasn't expecting this high of a bounce. And the Gilbert needs to be careful here. That's a great pinch out of Louis. There's that one down the field, makes Glendo reset their offense, allows his teammates to get some boost. I think that slow methodical play of playing around each other really well is what's been Chandler Gilbert's bread and butter this season. They did such a great job against these other teams, just staying composed on defense and trusting each other. And now they need it more than ever to try to force a game seven here. They want that first goal. Going down a goal while you're also on match point. Can't imagine it feels too great. So we gonna jump up for this one. A little bit of an awkward first touch. Does manage to get the flip, gets it over the next. Then he's gonna be floating for a minute now. Able to grab his back corner boost on the way out though. West with an opportunity. 
A good 50. He's going to find his way out to Louis. He's got plenty of time now. You're going to put it up. OG looking for the shot. That was a great display out of great display of confidence out of Chandler Gilbert that I like to see. Even in these tense moments, they're still going for those ceiling passes to each other. Just feeling the flow of the game, trusting each other and playing confident. It's exactly what they need right now. No goals yet, but I can feel one coming. Louis we'll looking for another touch, gets it around. It's going to be a goal. There it is, just as we were talking about. Louis makes a great play. That confidence we were talking about, they're going for these plays still. They're on match point, and they are playing with absolutely zero fear. Another extremely tight game. We're almost at a minute and a half to go, and that was our first goal. Cone whiffs on that one, coming up to the midfield. Fear also whiffs. Then going to take a shot. West with an epic save. West with an epic save. Good job by Louis there. Poji got plenty of time on the corner. Going to tap this one. It's just, he's looking to tap that and self-pass it. He's not able to find it for the second touch. Lin and Louis. Going to have a little skirmish on the side while Louis going to have to dodge a demo. Cone now going to be able to catch this ball. Takes an awkward bounce. Fierce to gather it for him. Now West takes a shot. It's going to be saved on the goal line. Epic save for Lin. Going to bounce awkwardly. Louis is going to cut that off. West to the back wall. Ooh, what a shot. Just goes high, though. Louis is going to fake it. OG has a shot. What a save by Cone. 45 seconds now. Game six. Found the go right in the, in the position up by one goal to send us to a game seven. Louis hunting for demos now. That was the first demo of this game. Both these teams need to get a little more physical. It's shooting out to the mid. Louis going to clear it. Cone keeps it in. OG waiting for Lynn's move. It's like a game of chess. It stays into the Glendale half. Louis puts it on target. It goes wide right. Ten seconds now. Glendale needs a goal to tie it. He's going to float out in front of the Chandler Gilbert block box. It's looking scary. It'll have to be done in the air now. It's still up. It's going to hit to the sidewall. Chandler Gilbert It's going to let it drop. Game seven. Couldn't ask for a better preseason grand final. Chandler Gilbert and Glendale going to a game number seven on Champions Field. These teams will both have a minute amongst each other to think this one out, find what they need to do in game seven, discuss their game plan. They've both dropped three games. What has gone wrong in those three? Who can figure out it, figure it out better? Chandler Gilbert coming in with the momentum. Series scoreline has been a Chandler Gilbert game win to start it off and then back to back to back three game wins for Glendale. And now we are on a two-game streak for Chandler Gilbert. So definitely the momentum coming into this one on Chandler Gilbert's side. But Glendale the last time was able to figure it out. We'll see in game seven who can do just that. We've got our players spawning in. Champions Field game number seven, grand finals. Here in person at the Chandler Gilbert Community College Pecos campus. Five minutes to decide our champion of the preseason. Early demo from Poji. Early offense from Louie now. Cone with a great 50 to keep it into the corner. Here does just the same. He's gonna find his way out mid. Then gonna win the race to the ball. Hits it to the backboard. You're gonna take a shot. Oh, and it's gonna go under Wes. A weak shot out of fear, and it finds its way under Wes's car. 20 seconds in, Glendale takes the lead. Awkward touch for Wes. Looking for that ground pinch out of the net. It goes just under his car. Immediately Chandler Gilbert in a hole. OG looking to fill that up really quick. 
Now Louie gonna take his attempt at the ball, gets it off the sidewall mid. Gray able to get up to it, get the double touch. West and Lynn gonna race to this ball, Lynn wins it. Here up to the ceiling, Lynn takes a shot on net, Podu gets the save. Not able to get another, this might be a shot opportunity for Lynn. What a save from West, gets the epic save credit, pinches it off his own crossbar. Denlinger needs a goal quick here. You don't want to find yourself struggling into the last few minutes without a goal. Because that's when panic sets in. Game 7 series on the line for both teams. That one almost pinches its way in. Shades of the spring season. There's a pinch straight into the net in that grand finals. Doesn't find its way in in this one, but it does make an appearance. So we control in this one. Into the Glendale box, gets a good 50. Here, gotta be careful. 50's Poji and it's gonna find its way in. Two goal lead, three and a half minutes to go. Glendale, two goal early lead. Game number seven. Here, stepping up with two goals. With the series on the line, the best player shine, and so far, Fear is shining. Two goals to his name. He taps this one in the Glendale half. You know, right back down to their half though, and West is gonna be the last man back. He's gonna have to let this ball reset. It's a good bump, but it's still an awkward situation. What a save. It's gonna pop up, Koji beats. Here to the ball, it's gonna drop in front of the net. Bikes going to patiently wait it out. Gets it past two. Koji to last man back. Gets 50, this one's floating in front of the net. And Lynn puts a third goal in. We got two minutes, 59 seconds, just about three minutes for Chandler Gilbert to climb out of a 3-0 lead. Not even close to out of the cards for this team. It might be four though, it is four. Kickoff goal for Glendale. It's all falling apart in game seven for Chandler. Once again, three minutes is plenty of time for four goals, but they are digging themselves a deeper and deeper hole every single goal. Need the big players to shine here. You need your need your team captain Louie to have a big play here. Maybe a solo play out of him, get the teammates going. Here's confidently jumping up. This one might find its way in as well. Saved by Louie. Lynn gonna drop this one mid. Here, dishes to the sidewall. Gonna have to give up possession to Poji. Need a solo play out of him. Gets the flip. Not able to use it in time. Two and a half minutes to go now for Chandler. They need four goals. They've dug themselves an insane hole. But it's never too late. Kickoff goals are a thing. You could do with one of those. Not an opportunity for fear. West clears it. Job there. Koji gets it up high. In front of the net. West gonna take it to the sidewall. They're downfield by Fear. Two minutes now. And a fifth goal almost finds its way in, but an epic save on the top right shot by Lynn. By Cone. It might find its way in. Fear on the goal line makes another save. Minute 45 now, and they need four goals still. It is they are running out of time in game seven. Every second that goes by now is precious. You need four of them. And it's gonna be five now. It has absolutely all fallen apart for Chandler here in game seven. Double commits everywhere. No confidence. They did a great job to win those back-to-back -back games to force a game seven, but it has not been a competitive game seven so far. Two players demoed off the kickoff by Cone. Cone's gonna put in a goal as well. And it'll be 6-0. Cone doing it all. It's two demos off the kickoff. Finds his way upfield. Puts in their sixth goal. And here with a hat trick. Lynn with a goal to his name. Cone with two goals to his name. No goals on the blue half. They now have a minute and 20. They need six. You know, it felt doable at 4-0 with 
three minutes to go, but Glendale did not stop piling it on. They are down to one minute to go. 6-0 lead. Gotta wonder what has happened here for Chandler. Where did it go wrong? Glendale has so much leeway now to just challenge early, force the issue, and it's gonna be number seven. Seven O lead. Cone and Fear both have hat tricks here in game seven. It has absolutely fallen to shambles for Chandler in game number seven. A disappointing way to end the series, honestly. Not just for them. Heartbreaking as a player, I'm sure, but it was such a great series. All six close games. Went down to the wire in game seven. They brought us here and they just couldn't do anything here. 7-0, almost 8-0. 20 seconds to go now. Such a competitive series up until the last game. Such a shame that this is how the last game had to end, but definitely not a shame if you're a player or fan of the Glendale side. They have taken it here in seven games. They find their way. 7-0, shutout, game seven. Glendale are your Maricopa Esports League preseason Rocket League champions. Seven games, they figured out what they needed to do. They gave up two. Cone leads the way in the series. Hat trick in game number seven. Here, game number seven hat trick. And that is going to be the end of Rocket League until the spring. We'll be back in February, March, April, and May for some spring Rocket League. For that. Gauchos. Oh, Gauchos. Oh, Gauchos. Well, you know what? We'll get, uh, we'll get our captain on. For an interview. Oh. Come on, bro. How, how's the captain of Glendale Esports feeling after the preseason win? Feels really, really, really good. Uh, this is a team lost to literally, it seems like every single time we played them, even in the scrims, played a lot of scrims, lost a lot of scrims. Regular season in the spring, lost to them, lost them in the grand finals, lost to them in the regular season a few weeks ago, lost to them at the NASCAR tournament. It just feels really good to finally overcome the demon. There you have it. Glendale takes it in seven games. They're your Maricopa Community College Esports League champions. We'll be back with more Rocket League in a few months. Spring season is almost upon us. You guys have a great rest of your night. Bye. -bye.